Is your dress looking a little flat even with a petticoat underneath? Don't want to add more layers of petticoats because it would be too hot? Sounds like you need a skirt lifter to get that fullness, otherwise known as a mini crinlin or a hoop skirt. Then stay tuned for this tutorial. What you'll need, a tape measure, flat steel boning or hoop wire, a marker, metal cutters, something to make a boning channel, such as blanket binding, twill tape or ribbon, scissors, thread, pins, elastic, a sewing machine, and some tape. It doesn't have to be fancy. Let's begin. The first thing you want to do is figure out how wide and long you want your mini crinoline to be. For myself, I want it to be a bit longer than my fingertips and around twice the width of my hips. Grab your boning and play around a little bit in the mirror to see what size would work. You can always use some tape to secure it. Once you're happy with the hoop size, with your measuring tape, measure out what the circumference is. Add about 10 centimeters to ensure an overlap. That's four inches for our American friends. Mine ended up being 205 centimeters, so with a 10 centimeter overlap, I need 215 centimeters of boning. Next, once again in the mirror, Use a tape measure to find out how far down from your waist you want the hoop to be. Use that number and add three centimeters for seam allowance. For me, it's about a 37 centimeter finish, so 40 centimeters with seam allowance. Now it's time to cut your boning. With your measuring tape, measure out the length you need and mark it. Using your metal cutters, cut your boning to the correct length. I was lucky as I had a length that was almost perfect in size but I still had to trim it. Next, grab your boning channel material. In my case, it is this blanket binding I had in my stash, and then measure it out and cut it to the finishing hoop measurement plus seam allowance. In my case, it was 205 centimeters for the hoop plus three centimeters in seam allowance, so 208 centimeters. Over at the sewing machine, go ahead and sew right side to right side with the seam allowance. Now you have a circle for your hoop to go into, so it's time to grab your pins. We are going to mark eight equal points around this circle. To do this, put a pin in the seam, and then from that point, find the opposite point and put a pin in there as well. Then line up those two pins to each other and find the halfway point on each side and put a pin in those as well. Then continue the same process to find the halfway points between the four you've just put in. Voila, you've got your eight points. Next, grab your twill tape or ribbon. Measure out eight lengths, which will be running from your waist to the hoop. As mentioned before, mine is a 37 centimeter finish. So with three centimeters seam allowance, that will be 40 centimeters. Once you have done this, make a small mark on each side of the cut tape or ribbon 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch, aka your seam allowance on both sides. Once that's done, grab your boning channel and insert one of the straps at one of the pin points up to the seam allowance marking. Pin it back into place and continue right around the boning channel. Back over at the sewing machine, start at the back seam and sew about half a centimeter or 1 eighths of an inch from the top of the channel. Go all the way around, leaving about 15 to 20 centimeters or six to eight inches open. Next, measure out your elastic. Make sure it's firm around your waist, but you can still get it over your hips. Cut that to size and then sew the ends together. I like laying my plastic on top of each other and going over it about three or so times to really secure it. With the elastic, do exactly the same thing you did with the channel and place eight equally distant pin markers. Then line up the other side of the straps and pin, making sure to line up the seam allowance line with the bottom of the elastic. At the sewing machine, sew on the straps to the elastic. I liked going over the straps about three times or so. Do not sew in between the straps. Now's the time you've all been waiting for. Insert the boning into the channel and feed it through. Once it's all the way around, use your tape to strap the overlap together. Once that is done, back at the sewing machine, sew up the opening. And there you go. There is your very own mini crinoline, or if you prefer, skirt lifter. 
This is a very easy and quick way to create extra volume for your skirt. Though it's a good idea to still have a petticoat between this and your skirt to help hide the hoop. Smooth it out, if you will. If you decide you want a little more volume to the top as well, like shown here, you can always add a second, slightly smaller hoop further up. This will give you even more skirt support. I hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share to your mates. If you would like to support me and my channel further, I also have Ko-fi and Patreon accounts with the links in the description. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.